हेलो सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाय सर गुड मॉर्निंग हाय सर गुड मॉर्निंग हेलो 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 एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज अब्दुल्ला द फाउंडर एंड द डायरेक्टर ऑफ हैप्पीनेस इंस्टीट्यूट वेलकमिंग यू इन दिस ग्रेट एंड मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वीडियो right so let's talk about what am i doing and what the drama i was doing just few seconds back and why was i doing that i was doing it just to tell you that how gesture is very very important in our communication and public speaking right so today we are going to talk about one of the most important part and aspect of your public speaking presentation and communication right first of all there are few general gestures which is very common to be understood just like that okay right we we for victory we for victory thumbs up best of luck all the best thumbs down no best of luck good luck no bad luck bad luck all right when you just do like this so hey come on give me a call this is very common to be understood and this is general gesture which is actually symbolized as give me a call right hey i love you so much i have fallen in love with you right and hey high five right give me a five and then we have other gestures like you know tata bye bye and all these gestures are so general gestures and these are understood in a very very easy way but today we are not going to talk about the general gestures we are going to talk about the most important gesture which is used in your public speaking communication and presentation ladies and gentlemen and my dear students and my dear people like let's talk about the gestures but before we start let's find out the questions like the answer of three questions like three questions are what is gesture why to just develop the gesture and how to develop the gesture these three points are very important to be understood now what is gesture gesture is all about the moments of your body to transfer your message that is called gesture like you know you are trying to say something with the help of your body gesture with the help of your body moments you want to transfer something you want to connect something you want to just say something you want to explain something that is called gesture right that is called gesture if i am talking about laddu i am talking about laddu i am talking about mount everest like these are actually called gesture why to imp- why to develop the gesture why this is very important to be developed let's ask this question because the big you have the why the big you will have the purpose and the bigger you will have the destination and achievement that's why why is very important right so gesture point number 1 gestures builds the memory right point number why this gesture is important point number 1 gesture builds the memory it just helps to recall uh, the things which has been occurred in the past which was your flashback which was your past incidents so this builds your memory the second point is that it builds your confidence when you use your gesture right and the point number third is actually it connects and hooks to the audience and to the people and to the you know like feedback people to the listeners that is why it's very important to use gesture point number 40 it makes conversation and communication very easy point number 40 right it makes so easy point number 50 is it just you know gives you easiness to speak and to express yourself because somewhere you're trying to explain with the help of your gestures so it makes you easy or it makes your points and contents easy right so these point points are to be understood and these this need to be understood because it is all about why right why this gesture is important but let's talk about how to develop the gesture right why why we have already discussed how to develop the gesture let's talk about it right first of all my dear viewers my dear students my dear mentees and trainees what like how to develop this gesture let's talk about it first of all my dear people please don't try to don't try to ease your hands don't try to take your hands don't try to take your body to the comfort zone for example you are coming somewhere you are standing like this and you are saying hello good morning everybody Hi, Hi, good morning, sir. Hey, I want to say something, sir. Hey, I want to talk about something, sir. So this is called comfort zone. Neither your body likes this, nor your soul like soul like this, or not, just you know, not also the audience likes it. That's why you have to just leave.
leave and quit your comfort zone. This is comfort zone. This is comfort zone. This is comfort zone. Whenever you try to flexibilize or over flexibilize your body, that is called comfort zone. Please don't do it, right? Please avoid it. It is very important. Now, let's talk about, first of all, what is the body portion that we have to use our gesture? This is called, you know, what is called Nabi in Hindi language, right? This is called what belly button. So this belly button is very important. Try to see this, right? Here I have also this, you know, jacket button, black button. So belly button is inside actually. So this belly button and the forehead, right? Eyes upper or you can say eyes also, eyes portion. This belly button to eyes, this belly button to eyes, this belly button to eyes, this belly button to forehead, you can say, right? This is called sphere zone. It's strength, strengthened zone, a strong zone, influencing zone. That is why whenever you use your both hands, right and left hands, please use from here to here. Neither you just tag these hands in the upper layer of the body portion, right? Now you take it to the lower to the belly button, right? Otherwise, if you do like this, it will be more and more lazy body language and gesture. If you do upper than this, this will be more hyperbole and exaggerating and over show off, right? You can neither do this nor do this. So what to do? You have to do this. Hello, everybody. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abdullah. What about you? I want to talk to you. I want to talk about myself. You have to just use from the belly button to forehead. These your two together, your hands will be in the mid of this, right? I have to just explain like this. Now let's talk about few gestures which is very important, which I explain in my training hall, right? Gesture number one. Whenever you talk about or describe something in the past, past means which has already gone which has already gone, which has already passed. So whenever you talk about something past, you have to use your hands in the back side. You have to take your hands to the back portion, right? How can you say that? Uh, when I was born, when I was a child, see, see, my hands are going back, more back than my body, right? When I was born, when I was a child, when I was 10 years old, when I was five years old, when I was with my father, when I was a study, when I attended my class first time, you have to just do like this because this means you are trying to explain something in the past. You ho I hope you understand that, right? Whenever you talk about the present moment or present scene or scenario, you have to do your hands like this because this is all about present. I was a child. I'm young now. I was a child. I'm young now. And I will be old one day and whenever you talk about future or upcoming moments of your life you have to use your gestures in this way that you are trying to say something about your future right hope you understand i was a child i am young i will be old i was a child i am young i will be bold you have to practice in this way right you have to practice in this way it's very important right i was weak I am strong, I will be more stronger. I will be more strong. Right, you have to say in this word, I was weak, I am strong, I will be stronger. I was dirty, I am clean, I will be more clean. So this is about past, this is about present, and this is all about your future. Hope you understand that. Now, please try to understand and notice one thing as well. Whenever you talk about your address or the location you come from, please don't never try to indicate with the help of your hand. Never try to show you with the help of your hand. You say that, hey, I come from Ghaziabad. Hey, where is the Ghaziabad? Is this on the wall or backside of the wall? It's the people start searching and finding it out backside of your body, right? So don't do that. What do you have to do? Please never indicate your address and location with the help of your hand. You say that I come from Ghaziabad. Hi sir, I come from Ghaziabad. Hi sir, good morning. I come from Delhi. Hi sir, good morning. I come from Chandigarh. Hi sir, good morning. I come from Manipur. So in this way, you exactly can talk and can express yourself. Now let's try to understand the point, uh, the gesture number two. The gesture number two is all about whenever you try to say something very small, very narrow, very easy, or very, very, very small or very narrow or very little point, you have to just, you know, go in this way, right? I'm just talking about, I'm just talking about the focus. I'm just talking about the focus. The focus is very important. I am talking about the focus. The focus is very important. I am talking about the needle point. Needle point is a, there must be focus like a needle point as Arjuna was having the focus on the fish eye. And Arjuna shot up. 
When Darunacharya asked him, where is your focus? What can you see? Arjuna said that, I can see the eye. I can see the eye of the fish. This is all about when you explain about something very small. And when you talk about something very big, you have to take your hands out of your zone, out of your body zone. I am talking about the big sky, the open sky. Under the open sky, you will be standing once and you will be talking and presenting yourself and the world, the entire world. Now see that I'm talking about the entire world. The entire world will be appreciating you and will be clapping for you, like we'll be putting to our hands together for you. So in this way, you can exactly explain. In this way, you can use your gesture. When you talk about somebody sitting there, I'm talking about him, I'm talking about her, I'm talking about you, I'm talking about myself. Practice with me. I'm talking about him, I'm talking about her, I'm talking about you, I'm talking about myself, I'm talking about my past, I'm talking about my present, I'm talking about my future, I'm talking about him, I'm talking about her, I'm talking about you, I'm talking about myself. You have to just practice in this way so that you can master your hands gestures. If your hands are weak, your body is weak, your posture is weak, your body language is weak, just try to stretch it, try to strengthen it, try to empower it and you will find the best transformed body language and transformed gesture. You have to just keep in your mind and this is very important. Now. Gesture number three I would like to explain. When you just try to show your gratitude and respect, please use your both hands. Hi, I'm talking about you. Hi, I'm talking about you. Hi, I'm talking about you. When you listen and decrease little respect, you can say, hi, I'm talking about you with one hand, single hand. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. When you try to decrease uh, the, the respect more, you can say, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you with the help of three fingers. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. When you try to dominate the crowd or dominate the audience, you can say, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. And I'm talking about myself. You have to show your fingers, but it is not allowed to show your fingers to the formal audience or to the senior audience. You can show this finger to the junior audience where you dominate the audience, right? When you show that you are one of the finest person, right? Or you are one of the most senior person. I hope that what the, whatever I have told in this video, you it's gonna help you, it's gonna just empower you, it's gonna impart you. Please take it and just try to just use and execute in your life and you will be transformed. Thank you so much. God bless you.